All right, you're going to learn about dividing rational numbers. And we have this whole thing. And in your book on page 89, you have uh, what a positive divided by a positive or a positive divided by a negative is a negative. And we have all these, you know, uh, signs for this. And for me, it comes down to the zero triangle in division. Uh, we would use this too. So if I have a, and I'll cover this up with um, green. So if I have a negative, so if I have a negative, I'll cover up that negative, and I have a positive, I cover up that positive, the answer is a negative. So it's a negative. So we could use that for all these situations. So throughout this, I'll use a zero triangle. And we have uh, this idea. So are these three problems the same? And if we have the quotient of each, the quotient is the answer to a division problem, then we'll find out. So 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. And coming back to the zero triangle, negative, negative, positive, we have a, a positive divided by negative is a negative, and a negative divided by a positive is a negative, 3. And if you have 12 divided by 4, that's 3, and then we put a negative in front of it, that's still negative 3. So... We have the same answer, the, the quotients are all the same, which means the answers to those division problems are all the same. So they are equivalent. And our conjecture about the, uh, you know, explain how the placement of the negative, well, it really doesn't matter where the negative is. That's the big point of this. The quotient is not affected by the placement of that negative sign. It doesn't matter if it's in the numerator or the denominator or outside the fraction entirely. The, the answer is still negative. So, in this, we see that in all cases, it's all going to be negative. The quotient's going to be negative. Okay, so write two equivalent quotients. Well, in this one, we can put the negative in the uh, numerator or in front. That's all, that's the main point of this. And if we have two negatives here, if I have the zero triangle, division, negative, negative, positive, and if I have a negative, I'll cover it up with green, and I have another negative, I'll cover it up with green, then the answer is positive. And here, so the, the main thing is if I have two negatives here and I have two negatives, it's going to be positive. So they're all the same. Over five months, uh, they wrote five checks for a total of 323.75, so five checks, and the cable bill came out to the same each month. So that sounds like a division problem to me. So we're going to find that quotient. And the negative number uh, represents the withdrawal of uh, money from each month. So we divide it, and we will get... Um, oh, to find the sign. So we have a negative divided by a positive in the zero triangle. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. So the answer is going to be uh, negative 64.75 or a withdrawal of $64.75 for each month. Oops. On your turn here, you're going to be dividing each of these applying what you know using that zero triangle here. So as we have a negative, I'll cover it, negative divided by a positive, your answer is going to be negative. So we have negative, and 2.8 divided by 4 is 7. So that's going to be negative, oh, I'm sorry, 0. 0.7, so negative 0. 0.7. Okay, the next one, we have, and I will erase these Right here, we have um, a negative divided by a negative. So a negative divided by a negative is a positive. And 6.64 divided by 0.4, 16.6. So it's going to be positive 16.6. And then uh, I know that the answer is going to be negative in this answer. And 5.5 divided by 5, 0.5, I believe that's 11. So we have negative 11. And finally, a driver descended uh, a whole bunch of feet in 11.2 minutes. What was the driver's average change in elevation per minute? So the change in elevation per minute. So that's uh, feet per minute. And it's going to be 42.56 divided by 11.2. And when we do that, 
we get uh, 3.8 feet per minute, and it's negative because you're you're descending, and when you're descending, you're going down. So I'll write I'll write that as a negative 42.56, and negative divided by positive is negative. Complex fractions. Uh, that's really uh, you know it, this right here is a complex fraction, and it means that a over b over c over d is the same thing as a divided by b a over b divided by c over d and so this right here is really just a division problem and we have to recognize we have a positive divided by a negative as a positive 7 tenths divided by a negative 1 fifth so our answer is going to be negative going back to the zero triangle a positive divided by a negative is a negative Okay, and when we do when we have this, this is the same thing as just a regular division problem. But we know the answer is going to be negative. So when we when we divide, we have to flip the second fraction. So we have this second fraction flipped, and we multiply across. When we multiply across, we get 35 over 10 with a negative in front, and we simplify that, and we get the answer of negative seven halves. So Maya wants to divide three-fourths of a pound into small bags. Each bag will hold one-twelfth of a pound. So it sounds like it's going to be division again. And there's that complex fraction, three-fourths divided by one-twelfth. And it's going to be positive divided by positive. The answer is going to be positive. And we simply divide by flipping that second fraction right there. So there's the second fraction. You flip only the second fraction. Multiply across and simplify, and you get nine bags of trail mix. Uh, you can fill nine bags. Okay, so you try this one. The complex fraction, that means, that really just means negative five eighths. Oops, that wasn't a good eight. I could do a better eight than that. Uh, eighths divided by negative six sevenths. Now in that zero triangle, I have a negative divided by a negative, and the answer is going to be a positive. So this is going to, I might as well just write it as 5 eighths times, flipping that second fraction, 7 sixths. I can't cross cancel anything, so that looks like it's going to be 35 over 48, and I think that's what we're looking at. Okay, so this one, you try that one. Our answer is going to be negative, because it's a negative divided by a positive, and we have negative 5 eighths. And then this one's going to be a negative divided by a positive. That's going to be a negative. Divide it all out, flip the second fraction, multiply, simplify, and you get negative 1 and 3 fifths.